video I'm going to show how to use the Tobias SK3 together with Visual Studio 2010. To do this you need of course the Toby SDK 3. You can download it from our website. Just search for Toby SDK. To get Boost you can use the Boost Pro installers. Just google for Boost Pro and use the installer. I'm using version 1.47 and note that in order to use Visual Studio 2010 you need as stated clearly on the web page version 1.43 or later. So I'm just gonna start up my Visual Studio. I'm using premium version but other versions should work equally well. I'm just gonna create a console application called XYZ. And first off I need to extract the uh, Tobias K. I'm gonna extract it into my solution folder. Now it sits here and I'm gonna need a path to the C++ include folder. I'm gonna copy this and then go for properties on the projects and under C++ there is additional include directories and this is what we want to change. So I'm gonna put this in and since I put in the solution folder I need dot dot for one folder up and I'm also going to put in boost include folders right away and I'm going to use the boost root flexible environment variable set by the boost pro installer so something like that and then I also need to set some linker flags and it's the under general you have the additional library directories. I'm gonna again copy this just to avoid any spelling errors like this and I also need boost. They put their libraries in a lib folder. And then under input, I need to specify explicitly that I want to use Toby SDK. So there are a lot of stuff in there. I'm going to change those. Just add Toby SDK.lib. Okay. I've prepared a small program. Doesn't do any meaningful. Just uses some symbols from the SDK. This just starts the browsing and stops it immediately. So let's try to compile this, it won't work because of a problem in uh, the release candidate that is not compatible with Visual Studio 2010. Uh, note that this is not a problem if you use uh, the final release. So to just quickly fix this I'm going to actually change a, a uh, include file in the SDK. So inside Toby SDK detail there is a std int that was not shipped with previous ver versions of Visual Studio, but now it is. So there's lots of stuff in here. I'm going to select everything and just replace it with include this and that. And this will include the uh, uh, version shipped with Visual Studio instead. So let's try to compile this instead. And there we go. Build succeeded. So um, don't leave any dangling pointers around and have fun.